What is the meaning and significance of the Shivling? Here we see the emergence of the first Jyotirling or the Linga of Light. Now the word Shiv itself means pure and auspicious and Shiva means both Shivji and Parashakti. So they are combined, Shiv Shivji and Shakti together is called Shiva. Now according to Shaivism and according to Hindu belief, the Shivling is the most prevalent icon of Lord Shiva and is found in virtually all Shiva temples. It is a holy and divine symbol of the Lord which is considered sacred by the devotees of Lord Shiva and by the Shaivites. In fact, worship of this Ling is considered superior as it helps us believe that God does not have any definite form, yet he is so powerful. Now let's look at the architecture of the Shiv Ling. For example, we can see that the Shiv Ling is usually rounded, elliptical and iconic on the top, but it is set usually on a circular or square base which is called a pitam. This is the manifesting power of the god. Now the lings are usually made up of stone, some of which are carved according to Shilpa Shastra by craftsmen who have been blessed and they are typically associated with the temple. And others are, can be naturally existing such as the Swayambhu ling and the Swayambhu lings are examples are the Amarnath Ling is made of ice, which is one of the Jyotir Lings. It's made of ice, naturally occurring. Sometimes Swayambhu Ling can also be created by a flowing river. Some Lings are also made, man-made of metal, precious stones, gems, woods. And they can also be made in a transitory fashion. In other words, temporary Lings can be made from 12 different materials, from sand, from rice, from cooked food, river clay, cow dung, butter, rudraksha seeds, ashes, sandalwood, darba grass, a flower garland or molasses. The Supreme Lord does not have any form and in fact every form is his form. Now just like when we see smoke we know that there is fire, the very moment we see a shivling we can visualize the presence of the ultimate and supreme Lord. The structure of the shivling also has a deep meaning. The lowest layer is one state of the cosmic universe which is known as srishti or creation. This layer is circular or square and belongs to Lord Brahma. The next layer is typically octagonal and representing the eight cardinal directions and this is the layer of sthiti or controlled by Lord Vishnu which is existence and then you have the final layer which includes the Yoni and the Lingam and the Lingam is the cylindrical shape with a spherical top uh, which represents Lord Shiva and it is the element of Samhara or uh, involution or the end. So when we see the Shivling we can easily see that it has uh, multiple layers and each layer represents something quite unique. So the formless God, uh, Lord Shiva, is represented here because Shiva does not have to have any form uh, in order to be worshipped. And uh, that is one of the great aspects of uh, the Ling itself. Now there are five Bhuta Lingas and the Bhuta Lingas uh, Bhutalings are uh, made of ice uh, and that is the one in Amarnath. Uh, there is uh, one made of so we can see the structure of the shivling here. The bottom most uh, layer, the circular base is uh, refers to the layer of evolution and that is Shrishti, creation. The second layer is usually octagonal uh, or can be circular and it represents Stiti. This is the area of Vishnu, the preserver. The first layer is the layer of Brahma, the creator. Uh, then we have above it uh, a layer called the Yoni and the Yoni is where the, uh, the milk or the jaggery or the water used to purify or to offer to the Lord flows out 
and uh, then you have the linga. The linga is the actual cylindrical object with a spherical top which represents involution or samhara and that is the layer of Shiva, the destroyer. So uh, lings can be swayambhu which means they are naturally existing and they, they can be shaped by a swift flowing river or in places like Amarnath uh, they can be for example a uh, very much a ice structure and so some literature also believes that links can be made of metal, precious stones, gems, woods or even transitory materials and the trans transitory shivling can be made from 12 different materials such as sand, rice, cooked food, river clay, cow dung, butter, rudraksha seeds, ashes, sandalwood, darba grass, a flower garland or even molasses. The Supreme Lord does not have any form as we talked about and every form is his form. Just like when we see smoke we know that there is fire, the very moment we see a shivling we can visualize the presence of the ultimate and supreme Lord. Now according to Ling Purana it says Pradhanam Prakritir Yadahu Linga Uttam Gandha Varna Rasahinihinim Shabda Sparsha Divarjitam which means the ling is devoid of color, taste, hearing or touch. The ling is considered to be prakriti or nature. Another quote from the Skanda Purana depicts that the whole universe is created by Lord Shiva and it finally gets submerged. So Akasham Lingamityuha Prithvitasya Pitika Alayaha Sarva Devanam Layana Linga Muchyate. The endless sky is the ling and the earth is the base. At the end of it all, the entire universe and all the gods finally merge back into the ling from where it originated. There are 12 Jyotir Lingas or light forms of Shiv, Shivji at 12 special temples throughout the world which are extremely well known and popular. The great enlightened stage Ramana Maharshi who stayed in Uttarakhand is said to be the location of the fire ling of the Supreme Lord. Now the, we have talked about the Jyotir Lings before uh, but we also have the five special temples in Tamil Nadu which are called the Panchabhuta Stalam. Panchabhuta means five elements uh, and Stalam is location. So the state of Tamil Nadu has links for the five elements earth, fire, air, ether and water. Now, I have been to the location called Jambukeshwar temple which is the uh, has uh, for example the water element um, and so uh, there are various locations where earth, fire, water, wind, that is air and ether are worshipped as the uh, Panchabhuta lings. Then uh, see the, the uh, essentially the point is that the linga and the yoni which is the standing stone and the ring base always goes hand in hand and this depicts the male and female energies, the Shiva and Shakti principles. They are united like the chakra or the wheel with the ling as the axis and the yoni as the circumference. So each chakra in our body actually represents the union of the Shiva Shakti energies at its particular level running upward through the spine and the Shakti energy is a horizontal current forming the various lotuses of the chakra. Both these forces are essential to create evolution or dynamic evolution. While practicing yoga, the divine experience of the shivling can create a pillar of light, energy, peace and eternity. It helps to expand the mind and bring deep peace and steadiness to the heart and the soul. The waves of Shakti that radiate can help us acquire grace, love and wisdom. According to Ayurveda, the belief is that the creation of the Pranalinga allows deep healing and rejuvenation. And the Vedic sciences consider the Shivling as the power of light behind the sun, the moon, the planets and the stars. And in fact, 
in accordance with Vastu Shastra, the Shivling is the spiritual and vital energy in the house that stabilizes everything. And Vastu Shastra is the study, uh, like the Chinese form of Feng Shui, it's a study of how to build a proper house to allow energies to flow appropriately. So, uh, you know, we have talked about the shivling, we have talked about what they are made of. Sometimes the shivlings are also made of quartz and that has a very unique and special significance. Um, and uh, essentially, we have talked about what the structure is, we have talked 